We have the following objectives for today's lesson. Define probability. Find the probability of simple events. Now let's start. Let us begin with the definition of probability. Probability refers to the likelihood of an event occurring. Probability can be expressed in a variety of ways including mathematically, formal ways such as using percentages. It can also be expressed using vocabulary such as unlikely, likely, certain, or possible. So the probability of, of an event can be obtained using number of a favorable outcome to an event over the total number of a possible outcomes. Or in symbol, we have probability of an event equals the cardinality of an event over the cardinality of the sample space. Obtaining a probability of zero means that an event is impossible to happen, while obtaining a probability of one means that an event is certain to happen. The closer a probability to one is more likely to happen. Let us deal with the first problem. A blue and a green dice are rolled. Find the probability of the following events. Event A, the green dice shows 6. Event B, the sum of two numbers is 8. Event C, the sum of two numbers is less than 6. Now, I'll be listing down here the list of possible outcomes of this experiment. So, if we're going to count the, the number of outcomes or the cardinality of the sample space, we have 36. For us to be able to solve for the first problem, which is the probability of the green die show 6, we have the solution. So, we have here A, or the event A showing 1, 6, 2, 6, 3, 6, 4, 6, 5, 6, 6, 6. So, if we are going to count the number of outcomes for event A, we have here 6. So, for us to be able to solve for the probability of event A, we just need to divide the cardinality of event A divided by the cardinality of the sample space. So, the cardinality that the green die shows 6 is equal to 6 and the sample, the cardinality of the sample space is 36. We simply divide them. So, we have 6 over 36 or simply 1, 6. Now, solving for the probability of event B, wherein the sum of two numbers is equal to 8. So, we have... Looking onto this table, we have 6, 2, 5, 3, 4, 4, 3, 5, 2, 6. These are the numbers or pair of numbers that will give us a sum of 8. So for the solution, so we have the list of outcomes, possible outcomes for event B, which is 6, 2, 5, 3, 4, 4, 3, 5, 2, 6. So the cardinality of event B is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, the cardinality of event B is 5. So, for us to be able to solve for the probability of event B equals the cardinality of the sum of 8 divided by the cardinality of the sample space. So, we have here 5 over 36. Now, let us find the probability of event C wherein the sum of two numbers is less than 6. So, in here... We have the list of possible outcomes for event C. We have 1, 1, 2, 1, 3, 1, 4, 1, 1, 2, 2, 2, 3, 2, 1, 3, 2, 3, and 1, 4. So if you're going to count uh, these pairs, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So the cardinality of event C is equal to 10. So we can obtain the probability of event C equals... The cardinality of event C over the sample space, the cardinality of the sample space. So we have here 10 divided by 36 or in lowest term we have 5 over 18. So it means that the probability of getting a sum of two numbers less than 6 is 5 over 18. Now let us deal with example number 2. 
A committee of two is to be chosen at random from a group of five students consisting of three boys and two girls. What is the probability that A committee, A of two boys will be chosen, B consisting of one boy and one girl will be chosen? So for us to be able to solve this problem, we need to find first or identify or list down the sample space or the list of possible outcomes. So we have the following list of possible outcomes. We have boy one, boy two, boy one, boy three, boy one, girl one, boy one, girl two, boy two, boy three, boy two, girl one, boy two, girl two, boy three, girl one, boy three, girl two, girl one, girl two. So the cardinality of the sample space is equal to 10. Now we are ready to identify the probability of two boys will be chosen. So let us first identify the cardinality of pairing two boys. So we have here this one, boy one, boy two, boy one, boy three, and boy two, boy three. So it means that the cardinality of selecting two boys is equal to three. Now, let us find the probability of selecting two boys by dividing the cardinality of two boys over the sample space, which is 10. So we have here 3 over 10. Now, what about consisting of one boy and one girl? So we have here boy 1, girl 1, boy 1, girl 2, boy 2, girl 1, we have here boy 2, girl 2, boy 3, girl 1, boy 3, girl 2, and that's all. So, if we are going to count the outcomes of for this event, we have 6 as the cardinality of this, of selecting one boy and one girl. So, for us to be able to find the probability, we simply divide the probability of the event divided by the cardinality of the sample space. So we have here 6 over 10 or simply 3 over 5. Let us deal with example number 3. In a deck of 52 cards, what is the probability of getting A, a king, a spade, and not a face card? So let us first study the content of our experiment. So we have the following outcomes for this experiment. So all in all, the cardinality of the sample space is equal to 52. So these are called the face cards. We have Jack, Queen, King. So in here, uh, in the deck of playing cards, there are 52 playing cards. We have four suits and these are the club. We have here diamond, we have heart, and also we have here the spade. So in a deck of 52 playing cards, what is the probability of getting a king? So for the solution, so how many kings do we have in the deck of cards? So previously I've shown you that we have here four kings. So the cardinality of getting the king is 4. So it means that the probability of selecting a king is obtained by dividing 4 over 52 or simply 1 over 13. Now, let us try to solve for letter. So we have here the spades. So we have here 13, 13 spades. So for us to be able to find for the probability of getting spade, we have the cardinality of spade is 13. So the probability can be obtained by dividing 13 over 52 or simply 1 fourth. Now for the next problem, we are asked to identify the not face card. So we have here, these are the not face card. We have 1 to 10, 1 to 10, 1 to 10, and another 1 to 10 for each suit. So it, it means we have 40 not face cards. 
So for us to be able to solve for the probability of getting not a face card, so we have here 40 as the cardinality of not a face card. So it means that we just need to divide 40 divide 52 or simply 10 over 13. Try doing this on your own. Until our next session, thank you and enjoy learning.